We all know that Lucio Ko and Susan Ko are one of the wealthiest in the country, and we associate them closely with pure gold, but did you know that they actually started out in the oil and minerals exploration industry? And did you know that they're also the exclusive distributor of Johnny Walker and Red Bull in the Philippines? They also apparently own The Keepers, the largest distributor of imported spirits in the Philippines with a massive 74% market share. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the origins of pure gold, all the companies that Lucio and Susan Ko own, such as SNR, become their real estate business and you'll be blown away by how massive the business empire that Lucio and Susan Co built actually is. If you want to skip to certain parts, the timestamps are in the description. My name is Chris Gurian, welcome to Brand Origins. Although Lucio and Susan Co became popularly known as the owners of Pure Gold, they actually started out in the oil industry first when they launched Costco Capital in 1988. It's actually really difficult to get any information about the billionaire couple because they're notoriously known to be very discreet about their personal lives. But what we do know is that at the height of the Asian financial crisis in 1997, while everything was falling apart, they saw an opportunity. Markets were crashing and the cost of basic goods began to rise. And so they figured, what if we opened a standalone supermarket that didn't have huge markups. Maybe we can profit from this while being able to help people at the same time. We all know that during a crisis, the only businesses that thrive are the ones that actually do serve primary needs. And as we've all experienced during this pandemic, supermarkets are absolutely essential. And so on December 12, 1998, the first branch of Pure Gold opened along Shaw Boulevard in Mandaluyong City. Fast forward to today, as of November 2021, Pure Gold now has over 400 189 stores nationwide. But what exactly are they doing right? Pure Gold's main selling point is its relatively lower prices. It has established itself as one of the go-to supermarkets for lower-income households, which still makes up a pretty big chunk of the Philippines. Noticing that a lot of independent Sari Sari store owners buy their inventory from them, Pure Gold introduced the Tindahan ni Aling Puring program, where store owners can get access to bigger discounts, points, and even insurance coverage. This program, I think, was a great move from Pure Gold. Another thing they're doing right is being able to enter small towns or cities that giants like SM or Robinsons may consider as too small. Like if a town is still under a certain population level or if a town doesn't have the spending power that's attractive enough for SM, obviously they won't open a store there. But since Pure Gold is positioned primarily for this market, they're usually one of the first to pop up. I read a comment that said that once you see a pure gold open up in a rural town, it's a sign that things are leveling up, that things are improving. Pure gold has established a strong brand for the CDE market, but they also did want to get a hold of the higher income households. But then they are also aware that it is much more difficult to reposition a brand because that could ruin the appeal to its existing audience. And that leads us to the SNR acquisition. I actually made a video about SNR. It's a deep dive into the science of the store layout of SNR and how their pizza contributed to their massive membership growth. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. The link is in the description. SNR was established in 2001. SNR stands for Saul and Robert Price, the father and son duo that started the US based Price Club with a couple of other founders. Now, this is a massive company, okay? It went public in 1980, and in 1983, they merged with Costco to create Price Costco. Just a little fun fact Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart, even gives credit to Saul Price as being the father of this industry and told him that he learned so much from the business model that Saul Price pioneered. Eventually, the younger Price, Robert Price, started a separate company called Price Enterprises or Price Smart. Price Smart is basically just replicating everything that Costco is doing right in the US and implementing that strategy in other countries, especially in South America, the Caribbean, and Asia. SNR was Price Smart's version in the Philippines. So they launched in 2001 with branches in Manila, eventually expanding to their first branch outside Manila, which was in Mandawe, Cebu. Four years later, in 2005, Price Smart sold its shares of SNR to its minority partner, Karayla Management Corp. Karayla? Karayla? I don't know, I'm not sure. Karayla is owned by the Lucio Co family. In 2012, Pure Gold, also owned by Lucio and Susan Co, acquired Karayla and SNR for over 16.5 billion pesos. Now, why did they do this? Well, it actually makes sense because SNR serves the AB market, the higher income group, and Pure Gold serves the CDE market, the lower income group. So it really is a perfect fit. Two strong brands for each income group. 
Pure Gold wasn't done with their 2012 shopping spree just yet because in the same year, they spent roughly around 900 million pesos to acquire all 19 branches of its smaller rival, Parco Supermarkets. In 2014, Lucio Co entered the banking industry when he acquired a 37.67 stake in the Philippine Bank of Communications or PBCOM. The deal was reportedly valued at around 5.98 billion pesos and it brought Lucio Co's stake to around 49.99% of PBCOM. I'm not actually that familiar with PBCOM they don't have that many branches and they don't seem to run many ads, but apparently they've been around since 1939. They started out as the Chinese Bank of Communication since it was owned by foreign Chinese owners, and as of September 2021, PBCOM ranks as the 19th biggest bank in the Philippines in terms of assets and has over 93 branches all over the country. In the same year, in 2014, Lucio Co brought Lawson to the Philippines. This move actually makes a lot of sense considering that they're in the supermarket business. They've already got SNR for the AB market, pure gold for CDE, might as well complete it by having a player in the fast-rising convenience store game. Lawson is one of the top three biggest convenience store brands in Japan, just next to Leader 7-Eleven and Family Mart. It's been reported that pure gold put in around 500 million pesos in growing Lawson to compete with 7-Eleven, but in 2018, Pure Gold decided to pull the plug and sell its 70% stake back to its Japanese partner Lawson Inc. One thing that I wasn't aware of was how big a player the Ko family is in the liquor business. Apparently, they're the distributor in the Philippines for leading important brands such as Johnny Walker, Jose Cuervo, Jim Beam, Jinro, Absolute, Bailey's, Red Bull, and Perrier. All are pretty much the leading brands in their categories. So in 2013, they acquired Da Vinci Capital, a publicly listed company. Lucio Ko's plan was to turn this into a holding company for their future companies. The Ko family's wine and liquor businesses namely Montosco Inc., Meritus Prime Distributions Inc., and Premier Wine and Spirits Inc., all then became subsidiaries under Da Vinci Capital, which was then renamed in 2021 into The Keepers Holdings. The Keepers is currently the largest distributor of imported spirits in the Philippines with a commanding 74% market share based on volume and 66.9% based on retail sales volume in 2020. Now, on top of all these companies that the Co family owns is Costco Capital, their main holding company. Under Costco are their subsidiaries in the real estate industry. Their flagship company is Elimac. Prime Holdings, which builds community malls and commercial retail properties. Nation Realty, their mall development arm, they're the ones who developed the 999 shopping mall in Binondo. I'm sure you guys have seen or have been to that mall. Fortuna Holdings, which together with Ayala Land, built Harbor Point in the Subic Bay Freeport Zone. As I said earlier, Lucio and Susan Co originally started out in the oil industry, and so under Costco is Alcorn Petroleum and Minerals Corporation. They're involved in the exploration and development in oil and mining, particularly in Palawan. In specialty retail, they own Office Warehouse, a chain of stores focused on selling office and school supplies. And of course, we have The Keepers Inc. in their liquor arm and Pure Gold and SNR in retail. And that's pretty much it. I would love to know what you guys think about Pure Gold. Do you love it, you hate it, let me know in the comments. I love reading about these massive companies because that's usually the only time when I discover that so many of the brands we're using are owned by the same company. And that's the case with Pure Gold. If you made it this far, I'd really appreciate it if you can click like, subscribe, and if you can share this with your friends. I'll see you in the next episode.